It's your man JP from the JP Show and this is part two of how I found out that I have kidney disease. Now I know a lot of you guys want to just fast forward all the way up into the kidney disease part but I'm sorry guys we can't because a lot of these diseases backtracks into your family history. So we have to try to pinpoint my family tree um, as much as possible. Now yesterday I talked about my mother being a drug addict and also I want to add that I believe that my mother Mother was using when she had me so that would make me a crack baby or a drug baby please do not take any offense by any other verbiage that I am using this is what it is this is just the language and we just going to be directly and sometimes brutally honest about what happened and what's going on now also yesterday I talked about my father my father being born in 1919 actually he wasn't born in 1919 he was born in 1916 okay and also I want to make another correction um, I'm not Simba on my father's side yesterday I talked about being Simba um, the first grandson of the family I'm not Simba on my father's side I'm pretty much sure that because my father was born in 1916 and I'm pretty sure by the time he had me he probably had like <laughs> freaking 10 grandkids by the time he had me so um, I'm not Simba but I am Simba on my mother's side uh, my grandmother is, I'm her first grandson now my grandfather on my mother's side I'm not really sure we'll get into all of that in a second now let's get back to my father's side because my father's side um, the story is very easy and it's, it's not too complicated so my father was born in 1916 uh, is probably we could probably put we could probably kind of guarantee that my grandparents um, was slaves or in that realm of slavery now just to make a note I have never in my life met my grandparents and just make a mental note also guys I've never met in my life well, I met one time my father once in my life. I was five years old when I met my father the one and only time. Never met my grandparents. These are really particular um, information that I'm giving you guys because these are what doctors ask you when you go inside of these offices when you have such and such diseases. They want to know about your background. So I've I've only met my, my father one time and I was five years old and I've never met my grandparents because by the time I came around, my grandparents was probably passed away maybe already a hundred years already. <laughs> I'm joking, but close to it. Um, great grandparents. My great grandparents was more than likely um, slaves my great-grandparents pretty much we could probably guarantee that my great-grandparents were slaves and maybe they even came from Africa um, over here maybe they wasn't born over here maybe they came from Africa over here but pretty sure of that okay so my my father's side of the family the information is very slim I do remember and I want to talk about real quick going to meet my father for the first time when I was five years old I was super super excited and just overjoyed I could remember this even at five years old and I could remember my father being super excited and overjoyed to see me when we finally met each other uh, when I went to go see my father he was actually in a nursing home okay so my father was living in a nursing home when I went to go see him and I only had one I say one day and one night let's say 24 hours um, to be with him and and spend time with him and we spent time with each other and we had a great time and we even talked about me coming back to see him again which never happened never happened um, I, I believe that my father passed away in 1995 um, and I seen him I had to be five six years old so this might have been like 
um, 87 or 88, maybe 89 that I went to go see him that time. And it was fascinating. It was fun. We had a great time. We really enjoyed each other. He actually, I remember this. He actually whipped my ass. <laughs> he beat my ass. You know how the old timers is. The dude actually beat my ass because I did something and he gave me a whooping. Um, so that was, uh, that was great. It was very exciting. I was hoping to see him again. It never happened again. Never seen him again. Day of my life grandparents great grandparents never ever in my life so my family history on my father's side is very slim to none now when you go inside these doctors office um and you have these certain diseases a lot of times um some of these diseases may be backtracked to africa the reason why i say that is because uh when you have stage five renal failure kidney disease that i have my um when i had to i had to do um treatments which is dialysis if anybody watching this and you know about this thing and you know about kidney disease then you know that you got to do dialysis so when i had to do dialysis and i go in there there's a lot of people in dialysis that is my complexion i would say 97 to 98 percent of the people that's in dialysis and that has kidney disease is african descent so it leads you to believe and maybe if a doctor is watching this maybe a doctor can give more information of maybe um this is a disease or a trait that's coming out of africa that we're just hereditarily born with let's talk about my mother's side real quick so my mother uh is this is an amazing story like i said she was a drug addict she was um possibly a prostitute um so my grandmother i've never met my grandmother but you know i'm not gonna say i never met her i haven't seen my grandmother possibly since i was five years old so what happened with me is that my mother had me in 1982 so she was on drugs she couldn't i guess handle a kid she gave me up to my grandmother right so something happened between my mother and my grandmother some type of big fight happened and from what i've heard down the line is that it has something to do with money so they fought about money over me and i guess my grandmother didn't like the fact that she was taking care of me and she maybe my mother wasn't giving her no money or whatever and she put me into social services and basically she put me into the system my grandmother did this so i remember living with my grandmother when i was now remember i'm simba on my grandmother's side i'm the i'm her first grandson so my so she put me into the system i do remember living with my grandmother at a very early age maybe about four or five years old i stayed with her for some time my mother was on drugs. I do. My mother has a sister, which is my aunt. She was maybe at this time, maybe 18 or so years old. So she really couldn't take care of me anything. She was taking care of her own stuff, trying to graduate high school, go to college, all that type of stuff. Um, so I went into the system and I went into foster care and um, group homes. I went into group homes, foster care. And if anybody's watching, uh, believe believe you me they know that in those times foster homes and group homes back then was just cluttered and fluttered and overcrowded with kids especially f both of them foster homes and group homes i remember being a group home one time and i literally had to sleep on the floor because there was no beds or no cots or anything it was just loaded with kids because this was what was happening back then in the 80s and the 90s kids was being left astray and they had nowhere to go um and people that worked in a group home back then um you know this is true and so my grandmother gave me up went into i probably went into about five to ten foster homes probably like 10 11 12 foster homes now i want to get to the specific part because during this time um i had no contact with my mother i had no contact with anybody my my mother's side of the family my grandmother gave me up my father's side of the family he's in um a nursing home 
And so I noticed certain things that was happening with me, but you and this time you really couldn't say too much. I noticed that I was peeing in the bed and I didn't know why because I, I, I didn't have any feeling of, you know, when you have to pee at night, you can feel, you know, you have, when, you, when you have to urinate, you can feel. I, I couldn't feel anything. I would just wake up in the morning and my bed would just be soaked in, in urine. Hey guys, stay tuned to part three tomorrow. Peace.